Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Friday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope that you're having a great day today, that you've had a great week, and that you all are well. And that you all have some exciting, fun plans for the weekend. Let's get started, guys. We are going to do prayer time first. We do have some prayer requests to add. Anne Marie asked that we pray, first of all, for Noah. Noah has COVID. We know COVID is not beyond God, that he can touch it, heal Noah. So we need to pray for that. We need to pray that the whole house is protected, that nobody else gets COVID in the house, especially Anne Marie's mother, who they are doing everything they can to keep her healthy. We need to pray for that. We need to pray for her as well, Mary Ann, because she is Anne Marie's mother, because she, her back is really, I mean, she's having a really hard time moving. So we need to pray for that. And we need to pray for Anne Marie. You know, as she's getting a lot of help from Allie, who's only, I mean, Allie's 13, guys, and she is stepping up and she is not complaining about having to help with her grandmother at all. So we can thank God for that. We should thank God for Allie helping her parents the way she is and for Anne Marie. She's really tired and we need to pray that God will give her strength, that he will give her the rest that she needs. We are also going to pray for AD. She is away in New York for safe travels, for safety as she comes home on Tuesday. So we just need to pray that all goes well for her up in New York as well, that they have a great time, but that they are safe while they're doing it. So let's pray guys. Those are the only ones we're adding. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we just thank you and we just praise you for who you are. We just thank you and we just praise you that we can come before you and we can bring our requests before you and that you answer. Lord, you said that if we bring anything before you and ask it in your name, that you will do it. And Father, we are asking now, first of all, I am thinking of Noah as he has COVID. Lord, we are reaching out our hands and we are just saying, Father, just touch and heal Noah of this COVID, that by your stripes, Lord, he shall be healed of this COVID in Jesus' name, that when he tests, he will test negative, that he will feel better, that his body will have the strength, that there will be no side effects, no lasting effects from the COVID, <coughs> as sometimes that has been. And Lord, I just pray now that you will just be with be with Anne Marie right now. Lord, we just thank you first of all, and we just praise you for Allie as she is stepping up and she is doing, she is helping her parents with her grandmother. And Lord, Anne Marie is so tired. I mean, she's not even complaining about it. And that's, we just thank you for that, Lord. And we just pray now for Anne Marie as she is so tired and as she needs your strength. Lord, you say that your strength is perfect. When our strength is gone, that when we are the weakest, you are the strongest. So Lord, I just pray that as Anne Marie is so tired taking care of her mom and Noah and the house and everything she has to do, I just pray that you will just touch in her body, that you will give her body the rest that it needs when it needs it. And Lord, I am also praying now that you will just be with Mary Ann. Father, as she's in such pain, she can't even move hardly. Father, reach down. By your stripes shall Mary Ann be healed from this back injury. Just be with her today. Send the help that Anne Marie and, and Nick need with, with all that's going on. Lord, you sustain these, sustain them. Just lift them up, wrap your loving arms around them and help them get through this, I pray in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying that you will be with AD now as she is in New York and she is visiting with friends. Lord, visiting is always a great thing when you can visit with friends, but you need to be safe too. So we pray for her for safety, that you will be with her up there, that you will give them a great time, a great safe time and Lord, that they will have a good time though. And we are also praying for her as she travels home, that you will just be with her, give her safe travels, put your loving angels around her as she travels. 
just be with her on the road in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will just be with Gord. We thank you that Gord is home and that he is getting stronger each day. We just pray, Father God, that he will continue to get stronger each day and that he will continue to recover and that very soon he'll be on his feet and doing everything that he could do before even more because he feels healthy. He feels so much better in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying for Patricia that you will just meet that unspoken need. Lord, she has an unspoken need that we don't know what that need is, but you do. So we just thank you that you know, Lord, what that need is and that you know how to answer it. So we just pray that you will just meet that need in Jesus' name. And we are also praying for Patricia's pain, that you will touch and heal our sweet Patricia's pain today, that the medication will work the way it is supposed to, that, Father, that she will have no pain at all, that she will be able to move freely in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we are also thinking of sweet Becca, that you will be with her today, that you will touch and heal her for fibromyalgia and her her um, arthritis that father that you will give her no pain today that she may be able to get the things done that she needs to get done and father i pray for sweet jessica that you will just be with her today that you will touch and heal our sweet jessica that by your stripes she shall be healed from her seizures and her asthma and all her other health problems lord that you will just touch and heal her today and that you will just bless her today that you will meet each and every need that they have lord i just pray that in jesus name that you will meet jessica and her family's needs in jesus name and Father, we do pray now for my sweet sister Susie, that you will be with my sweet sister and best friend Susie, that you will just bless her today, that you will just touch and heal her knee up and back pain in Jesus' name. And for all of us that have blood sugar issues, I pray, Father God, for <clears throat> for Sonia, for Colleen, for for Penny, for Becca, for me, for for Jim, for and I'm even gonna put Bob in there because he does have blood sugar issues. Lord, I just pray that you will just bring our blood sugars down to a perfectly normal level and that, Father, every time we test, our blood sugars would be normal and within range, even if it's before a meal, after a meal, in between a meal, anytime that we test, that we will be in range, Father, and that we will not have our blood sugars go too low or too high in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we are also praying now that you will just be with Lori as she is going through her radiation. I pray that you will bless her, that there will be no side effects from the radiation and that she will come through it and that father god that the cancer will not return in jesus name we are asking that you will also be with her daughter-in-law's mother susan father as they've gotten bad news about susan and lord i just pray lord uphold that family with your right hand be with them bless them let them know that you are there that each day show them lord that you are that that even though they might not be able to see you that you are in this and that father that i just i am asking that you touch and heal susan that you take that cancer out of her body in jesus name by your stripes lord may she be healed completely and given many 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 more years on this earth to be with her family and to enjoy many more seasons and many more holidays birthdays just every ordinary day things that she will be here to enjoy them and lord we are also praying now for kira i think of kira as she is chair bent bound and bed bound father she is looking to you to build her faith and faith is hope in things we do not see things we cannot see faith is believing in the things that are unseen and so lord i pray that as she is looking to you to build her faith that you will do so that you will show her things that she would not normally be able to see the hope in this situation. As this situation might not seem like there's a lot of hope, there is because you are in it. And Lord, that you can do all things, that nothing is impossible with you, and that you can heal her. Show her that. Show her her purpose. Send the people. She has such a desire to be a blessing for you to others. So I pray, Father God, that you will just make her a blessing to others, and you will bring those others to her so that she may be a blessing to them even if it's on the phone with her job that you that she will be able to be a blessing and lord i just pray now that you will just be with with laura with her family member father god i just pray that you will touch and heal that family member of whatever it is that they need healing from you know we don't have to specifically pray because you know and Lord, as 
They are desiring to go back on the mission field, open up that right door, make a way where there seems to be no way. And when they get there, may many come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior and be blessed as a result of their faithfulness and their desire to serve you. And Lord, we are also praying now for Colleen, our sweet sister Colleen, as she is still sick. I just pray, Father God, that as she got to take a nap yesterday and she feels better, I just pray, Father God, that you will continue to help her to feel better, that you will continue to strengthen her, that you will continue to give her body the rest that it needs. We just thank you that she is feeling a little bit better, but that she will continue to feel better, Lord, in Jesus' name. And that I just pray, Father God, now for the situation with Lauren, that you will take care of that situation. You know what's going on, and you know the battle that Colleen is having right now with Lauren's father. I just pray, Father God, that you will that you will take care of that in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray that you will just be with be with everybody having mental health issues. Father God, I pray for Anne Marie, for Susie, for Becca, for Jessica, for for Anne, for Mandy, for for Travis, for David, for Stephanie, for for Kiki Ann, for for Deborah, for Donna. And Father God, I just pray for everybody having issues. I just pray, Father God, that even if they haven't mentioned it, that you will deliver us today in Jesus' name, that by your stripes, Father God, that you will give us your peace, your peace that path us all understanding. You will wrap us in your loving arms and that you will give us your joy. I am speaking against everything that is coming against our minds in Jesus' name. Just go away. You have no place. And Father, fill our minds with only good things in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now for Mandy's ex-mother-in-law, Susie, that you'll be with her today, that you will just touch and heal her today, touch and heal her body in Jesus' mighty and holy name. As she has been going through this for quite a while, I pray that you will be with her. And Lord, I pray <clears throat> for all those out there who are sick today. Anybody who I have not mentioned in this prayer that is sick with the flu, with COVID, with, with colds, with anything, that you will touch and heal them today in Jesus' mighty and holy name, as you know. Now I pray that you will just be with us today, that you will bless us today, that, you, that we will get much done, and that we will have a safe, blessed day in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. Now, I am going to do something. I had said, Laura... Melhoff. I have been doing these, these, a series of videos for her because she has wanted to meet the babies in my nursery. And one of the questions that she had for me was, do I have any silicone babies? So Laura, today I'm going to answer your question. And so let's get started. I'm going to put you guys on pause and I will be right back. Now, most of you know who this is. And to the answer to your question first, Laura, yes, I do have silicone babies. I have two silicone babies. This is one of them. She is one of them. This is Mabel Faith. And Mabel Faith is a Ashton Drake, Michelle Fagan, Lily Rose, partial silicone baby. Now, I will say this about her. I got her for my birthday in 2022 and as you can see she wears gloves on her hands but that's because she had a finger we still have to um, use the epoxy glue on her which I might have Dr. Tompkins over here do the surgery I'm waiting for the surgeon to schedule it so I'm waiting for the surgeon to schedule her surgery. But I keep I keep gloves on her hands anyway because she's silicone and she's very she is very um very how can I put this? She's very fragile. Silicone is very fragile. So you have to be very careful with how you 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 handle them. And so, but Mabel Faith. Now there is a story behind Mabel. I got her my less than two months after I started um, doing YouTube after I started after I got Hannah I got Hannah in July and I got her in September of that year she is named after Mabel Faith now 
For those of you who might be watching this for the first time or have never seen or have never heard me talk about it because I haven't talked about it lately in depth. I usually do in the arcs for this. My DID. She is named after my five-year-old author and Mabel Faith inside my head. Now, it was Mabel who came up with the idea for the Reborns. And when I was getting her, okay, guys, when I was getting her, I already knew what I was naming her. I had no doubt what I was naming this child. I was naming this one. Because when I saw her, that's what I saw. I saw Mabel. When I saw her on the website for the first time, I fell in love with her. And I'm like, that's Mabel. That's Mabel. And so I kind of, that's why I named her Mabel Faith. But Mabel Faith is the stress altar inside my head. When I get really stressed, she is the one who comes out. And it's in a good way because she's five years old. She comes out to give me the rest that I need and to run around and play. And she usually comes out when we're at home. So, but anyway, Mabel, when I have like anything going on, Mabel's out anyway. I have days of the weeks that I have certain babies out and I'll talk about that. Um, because I'm going to start getting out certain other babies as well. Um, kind of to give them all equal time, kind of out here with me, kind of, kind of. But anyway, anyhow, Mabel is partial silicone. She is silicone on her arms and her face and her legs go all the way up. And then she's cloth here. So, and as you can see, this is one of my favorite outfits on her. And she is going, Mabel is actually dressed because Mabel's going to visit Grandmom today. They love Mabel at the home. The minute I get off that elevator with her, they're like, Mabel, you know, and they, they, they're really, really good with her too, guys. Oh my goodness. Mabel is a big hit. Mabel is like the most popular thing on this floor when we go. So anyway, Mabel is a partial silicone. Lily Rose Ashton Drake. I don't even think they make her anymore, guys, because when I was on the website a couple days ago, because I went on the website a couple days ago, just to look, I'm not saying anything. I did not get anything. I just went on to look, just to look, because I do like to just look. I like to browse, basically. I do that with Paradise Galleries, too, where I'll just go and browse and see what's new. They don't have her on the website anymore. I'm thinking they got a lot of returns on her. That is why. I was going to return her, if you all remember. And I had even had a new one on the way. Then I sat and I thought about it. And I looked at Mabel. I said, I can't do this. I just can't do this. I, I went online and I researched how to repair her. Because Ashton Drake said they would throw her out. I couldn't bear the thought. I know she's a doll, guys. But... To me, my babies are my babies. And I talked to the Lord about it. I said, I know she's a doll. I know this is really silly and this is really stupid. Right? He said, no, it's not. He said, I'll tell you why. Did I give up on you when you were broken? Did I throw you away? I said, no, you didn't. He said, then there is your answer. So I kept Mabel. And I sent the new Mabel back. I'm just extra careful with her, guys. And if you notice, she never has any shoes on in my videos. I am really extra careful with her. I, I, I'm really, like, fussy with her when we're at the home, too, at this point. And I kind of, like, you know, I'm really fussy with her. But that's okay. You know? So, anyway... Let me put her back. Let me put this on pause and put her back and then I will show you my other silicone. Okay, most of you know who I have in here. This is 
Laura, just to tell you, and everybody else who might not know, my full-bodied, anatomically correct silicone boy. My only boy in my nursery is a full-bodied silicone. Now, before I show you him, I'm going to tell you how I got him. Back at the end of October, in October, now most of you know this baby was somebody else's before he was mine. And I was talking to Tammy on Instagram. Jeff was sick and I prayed over him. She came back on five minutes later and she was like, you know, she asked me if I wanted her linen. I'm like, okay. So I don't know what sculpt he is, but I do know he has some very special features, very special features. Okay, first, I keep him wrapped up in the blanket that you see because that kind of protects him. He's full-bodied silicone and he is with all the other, he's with three others. He's with Tammy Ann, Joyanna, and Stephanie. And he is like between Joyanna and Stephanie in the nursery on the daybed. Because most of you know the daybed, that the nursery is also my guest room. So, anyway. He was sleeping in Mabel's thing. Oh, yeah. Mabel was sleeping in the, the bouncer while Mom was here. He was sleeping in her, in her um, bassinet. So... And one night he even made it in bed with my mom. I don't know how that happened. But I went in that morning and she had Noah. I'm like, where's Noah? Where is Noah? And I look in the bed and there she is sleeping with Noah. But anyway. Oh yeah, that's Noah Nathaniel, by the way, guys. You guys know who that is. Here is his lovey toy. Did Daddy see the one I gave him? Yes. Daddy is very happy. It is a baby stealer's little lovey teddy bear now he is a sleeping baby he is a closed eyed baby let me take the, the blanket okay guys now I keep his these are the gloves he came with when Tammy gave him to me you know guys this was a very special gift for me because it came from somebody very special to me and I love Noah. Oh my goodness. I will cuddle with him. I hold him like this. I cuddle with him. Wait till they see him at the home. They haven't met him yet. But they will. Okay. First things first. Gloves. I keep gloves on his hands because of the fact that they are so fragile. As you can see. I almost don't want to take the gloves off of his hands. But... He is definitely a full body silicone. Now, this was her linen. I have named him Noah Nathaniel. Look at my sweet Noah Nathaniel, guys. He, I keep gloves on him. He has no hair, so I keep a hat on his head to protect his head. Um, let me, let me take the pacifier out. The pacifier clip that he has was made by Shara for him when he was in Tammy's nursery. I just kept it because it's a pacifier clip. So um, then we have him in this little sleeper. Um, I do have outfits for him and I will be putting an outfit on him the first time he goes over to be with grandma over at the assistant living. They're going to pounce on him, guys. Look at this. But he is full body silicone. His entire body is silicone and his head, look how his head goes. I want to be careful. His head goes like this. Moves a lot freer than Mabel's does. So I have silicone. I, I have two silicone. Out of the two silicone, he is the one that is most like a, an actual rebel, an actual baby, newborn. Um, and he is newborn. He fits in newborn size. Um, and he fits in zero, he fits mainly in zero. Now this is a zero to three month sleeper that he has on. I think it fits him pretty well. 
If you see this, come here, I'll show you. Look at it. I think it fits in pretty well, as you can see closer. I think it fits in very well. Um, I just love him to death. I mean, I just love this baby. I am very picky with him, though. I'm very, he's very fragile. So I am this picky, as can all picky can be. So, anyway. This is my other silicone. So I have two silicone. Mabel Faith and Noah Nathaniel are my two silicone. Now, in one video next week, because we all know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow is Saturday. So it's Play Day Saturday, hosted by Patricia Patricia Dolly Dreams. And we are planning a very special video. One we haven't done for a long time, guys. Because with my mom here, it wasn't so easy to do things like that. Um, so we'll be able to do that kind of video. We'll be able to, I'm not going to tell you what we're doing either. You can kind of guess. But um, anyway, we are planning a big video. But next week, I am going to do my cabbage patch and introduce you guys to my cabbage patch. Some of you haven't met the new cabbage patches either. I have a few new cabbage patches. Yes, we'll talk about my cabbage patch part of my collection. Um, because I think this year I'm going to get more into some role plays with them. I'm going to play with them a little bit more for you guys. I know. Um, but that was really, and I'll explain in that video, why I like my Cabbage Patches so much. And then I'll talk about my vintage ones. So I'm actually going to do a couple more parts, Laura, and for everybody else too. Um, so you guys can meet everybody in the nursery. I'm just going to do it little by little. But I am going to play a game with the Cabbage Patch ones. So stay tuned for that one. And that's going to have a giveaway attached to it. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. But that's going to have a giveaway attached to it. Um, I just think that, you know, that would be fun. Now, I'm not going to tell you how I got all the Cabbage Patch. Because I don't actually remember where I got all the Cabbage Patch from. But just to let you guys know, I get my Cabbage Patch from um, thrift stores. But I just love this baby. Here, I'll show you guys. I'm show you what I'm doing for Noah here. I keep him wrapped up in this blanket because I just anyway, I keep him wrapped up in this blanket. I just love him so much. There. It's still backwards. This is never going to work, guys. I, 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 sorry. But if it's backwards, it's not going to stay in his mouth either. So, anyway. This is my Noah Nathaniel. I have some really special babies in my nursery, in my opinion. They're special to me. They're not just sculpts that I get. They're, <clears throat> they're very special. And in, in some kind of way, they're very special. You know, um, I have a special bond with each. And, you know... Now, I will tell you that this baby was actually painted <clears throat> by Stephanie and Jackie, too. So, I have part of Stephanie and Jackie in my nursery. That Jackie did the eyelashes and Stephanie painted him. So, that also makes him special. But what really, really makes him special is he came from Tammy, my love. And this is a very special part of my nursery right here. You know, and then he's the only boy and, you know, so. Plus, I named him Noah. Well, Noah Nathaniel. Noah means rest. Nathaniel means gift. And rest is a gift. But he was a gift. So, I just, I cherish him. I'm very, very picky about I, I'm very fussy when it comes to, to, to holding him as well, guys. So, anyway. That is the main part of my nursery. I will be doing... You know what, guys? I just looked in the camera and just saw something. <laughs> I gotta redo my hair. Quick. I just have to just like quick put the thing right there. Anyway. But anyway. 
Thank you for joining us for this video. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. And we hope that you have a wonderful and blessed Friday. And we will see you tomorrow for Play Day Saturday. So, Laura, I hope that you enjoyed meeting at least the main part of my babies and that you all will come back and meet the Cabbage Patch and play the Cabbage Patch game and maybe have a chance to win the giveaway. And, and then I'll introduce you guys to the vintage and my porcelain. That, that'll be kind of my nursery. Because I really don't show my vintage or my porcelain. My Cabbage Patch I do show sometimes. Because we all know how much I like to have my Cabbage Patch go wild. Cabbage Patch go wild! So anyway, I do that for Wild Wednesday. So anyway, hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day. And that we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys! <laughs>